Teddy seems pretty amazing. Um, I wasn't sure what I was getting into, obviously, for the first time this year, knowing who would be on the team and what the dynamic would be like. And it's pretty incredible to have such a large group of people who have so much passion about preventing heart disease and stroke. There are, so, there are survivors on our team, and there's many people who have loved ones who have been affected or who have passed away. But everyone shares this common goal of just getting the word out of the warning signs of stroke, the warning signs of heart disease, and that we can prevent these things from hurting people. The runners on Teddy's team um, work together in supporting this mission of educating people about stroke, about symptoms, warning signs. Um, most of us do that via social media, talking with friends, family, um, supporting events or sponsoring events to get the word out um, about the warning signs of stroke. First thing we do is we spread the message. We all talk about be fast, which is the way to help identify a stroke quickly. Uh, balance, eyesight, face, arms, speech. And of course, if, you, if there's an issue with any of those, there's the time that you need to get someone into, into the, the doctors. Um, so the runners contribute to Teddy's team and our mission of creating awareness for heart and stroke disease in really a lot of ways. Um, so each member of our team has to raise a minimum of $7,500 um, is the minimum we have to raise. And that money goes to various uh, channels. It, it's to help advance research for cures. Um, it's help create awareness of warning signs of stroke and heart disease. Um, some of that money goes to a program. We have what's called the Comeback Assistance Program. As a team, we're 51 runners this year just for the Boston Marathon. Um, we have a ton of different uh, fundraising events we do. COVID-19 erased some of them, but in those events, you have them as small as 25 people, as, as large as hundreds of people, like at bowling events. Um, so really, those fundraisers really help create dollars and awareness of our, of our mission. Um, Teddy team also has other races we're part of. We have the Falmouth Road Race, um, and we have uh, races this year was in New Mexico, and we've been in Las Vegas before. Um, so we really kind of spread the awareness, not just here in the New England area, but across the country as well. We've done a lot of um, walk and talks with Teddy in the, the Demick Center, which is in, I want to say it's based out of, it's in Boston somewhere. I'm not too sure of the actual location, but having opportunities to go into more of an inner city neighborhood where the um, stroke and heart rates for the stroke rate and the um, heart disease rate is pretty high just because of um, availability for healthier foods and different things because of financial components of it to be able to go in and to, to talk to a lot of people and to hear a lot of stories um, that everyone was sharing and be able to be part of that and do some cooking lessons with them. Um, I think that giving back has been really amazing. I just feel like if we can help at least one person, like we're doing our job and, you know, we're making it all worthwhile. To, to those recovering from stroke and heart disease. Take it one day at a time. Stay strong, keep fighting and advocate for yourself. Just keep fighting, don't give up. We're fighting for you guys. There's always help out there. Hang in there, we've got you. We're working for you. Keep your head up, keep going. There's so much ahead. You know, when you put your mind and heart to anything, I truly believe you can achieve anything you want to achieve. Just be patient with yourself, you, you know, take it a day at a time. That there's always hope. Just don't give up and just keep pushing through it. There are people out there like Teddy's team to help you out. Remain positive. You're strong and you'll get through it. And just with hard work and dedication, you know, you can get there and just believe in yourself. Reach out for people for help and support and guidance and stay strong. And when you need help, it's okay to ask. Um, because when it's your turn to give back, you will. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, you know, like you'll, you will, you will get stronger. There's always a reason to get up and get out of bed and try to put one foot in front of the other. You know, Teddy's team is there as a resource. They have the, the comeback assistance program. That like every day, you know, will get easier and you'll get stronger. Fight the good fight and know that your loved ones are in your corner and they'll always be there for you. Before you know it, you might be running a marathon um, and doing things that you never thought you could do again. How would you feel about a socially distance long mile, 20 mile run for Teddy's team? Oh, yeah.